My mother has no interest in, in my literary life. She goes to my readings, and it's the funny thing is she doesn't look at me when I read. She sits adjacent to me and looks at the audience. And I said, Ma, Ma, why are you, what's going on? And she says, well, I want to see what your words make them feel. I like it when their mouth opens a little bit when you're talking. <laughs> My name is Ocean Vuong, and I'm here to talk about my debut novel, On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous. Little Dog is a refugee. He comes to America at age two, and he grows up in this household of women in Hartford, Connecticut, this broken town decimated by the opioid epidemic. The novel takes the form of a letter written from a son to a mother who can't read. The very impossibility of your reading this is all that makes my telling it possible. How many times have we talked on the phone with those we love and we say, well, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, fine, fine, good. How's the weather? What happens when we want to say the thing we need to say to those we love most and we can't do it? The novel was organized in vignettes. And I wanted this novel to be broken apart purposefully and that to be broken is not to be wrong. It's a careful orchestration of an explosion. Little Dog is an interpreter. He translates America for his elders and his community. Can you read this, you said, and tell me if it's fireproof? Now, normally we think, well, there's no reason for a woman to be obsessed with a fireproof dress, but that alone tells you what she's, she's seen. Trauma changes our DNA, and it informs how we look at the world. Your hands are hideous, and I hate everything that made them that way. As somebody who grew up in a nail salon, I wanted to reveal a huge swath of American life. What is seemingly just a, a place for beauty was actually a place where children are raised, meals are cooked. A workshop for beauty was also a workshop for life. Don't draw attention to yourself. You're already Vietnamese. Language is real. The power of it is that it gets deeper than any human touch. If I were to touch you right now, I would only get to your skin. But when I speak to you, I'm all the way through. You hear me? You're a monster. And with that, her head is lopped off its shoulders. A lot of things can't be translated, especially grief. And I think that's why he keeps the secret, this love that he has for this white farm boy. What were you before you met me? I think I was drowning. The fear, the danger, the awkwardness. I wanted those feelings to be as large as weather. I wanted them to be climates. sacrilege to reveal sexuality. And he keeps it in this letter. And he even says that, you know, Ma, the only reason I can tell you this is because I know you can't read it. Is it worth it to speak our truth when no one hears us? 